Earlier this week we showed you Alex Stedman setting off on a charity ride. It's raising money for cancer research, but Alex has a different kind of research in mind. With cameras on his bike... This is one that sort of looks up at me. ...and surveys for fellow riders, Alex is trying to make a science of biker behaviour and safety. A week later and a final fling around Silverstone. We've been dishing out questionnaires um, at the end of each day. They've marked on here sort of the areas of the body that they've felt some discomfort. You've you tried to be as truthful as you can with those sort of things, but it's very difficult at times to... Uh, um, even ten minutes after you get off the bike and you're in the bar, it's, <laughs> it sometimes sort of powers into insignificance and you've had such a good day out on all the racetracks and all the rest of it. But someone's missing. It seems one of the guys took this bend in Scotland a little too fast. He wasn't too badly hurt, but the bike, lent by Triumph, was. We spoke to Triumph about it and told them what happened and they appreciate that accidents do happen. The next day, Alex is at it again. So uh, this is our stand. He's at a major motorbike show. You see, Alex thinks bikes are too standardised, not designed with different riders in mind. And to show this, he's taking some measurements. Put these two rods either side of your hips. So that's 30 and a half. One, six, eight. But well, I'm quite interested in what makes someone comfortable. Well, with all those surveys and vital statistics, Alex has plenty of work to do. 50 and a half. To find out more about it, including the motorcycle simulator we featured earlier this week, visit our website at bbc.co.uk slash East Midlands Today.